Okay, Akumaldo Crypto here with our Bitcoin update. Guys, <laughs> what a difficult chart, isn't it? A lot of different counts, different options, different probabilities, and a lot of uncertainty. So we need to, to pay attention at everything we have. So I have presented this chart, which is quite telling in my opinion yeah we have this triple combo here and we have this relationship this fibonacci relationship between the pivot highs pivot low this is the first one 50 percent we have cross at 30 20 percent this was the only one that haven't reached the 50 percent you see from the highest point to the lowest here we have an abc a clear abc I have said that this is a clear ABC and uh, some of my members, some of my my analysts on my server uh, have a different count for this, but they are trying their best as, as I am doing. We are trying to come up with a different count and uh, it's difficult. I, 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 I can tell you it's difficult to argue that this is something different than an ABC here by itself. But they might argue that the problem is this X here that haven't reached the 50%. That an X must be at least 50% or, or the higher the better, 70% or something like that. Huh? But um, so, but this pattern is quite telling, okay? This pattern that always we have retraced to 50% from the highest to the lowest 50% is here 38 20% the only time that we haven't but then highest to lowest 50% we have retraced this much for 70 days 90% then from this one to this one 38 days 80% 3 days and we have had a pattern that has been uh, decreasing Okay, it has been decreasing in in intensity. In uh, you can see a clear uh, decrease, right? So that's why we are now in this in this no trade zone that we don't know what to do. Okay, and I have different counts, and what is really call what is what's really attracting my attention now, and uh, what I need to show you guys is that we are. Uh, between those two fifty percent here, okay. One I have I have this pivot high, pivot low, okay. And the other one is this one. Let, let me just check. Is this one? Let me let me see. This one here is this one. Yes, is this one? Okay. From this high this pivot to this one and the other one is this one here oh let me just adjust this thing here yes and uh, a bit more perhaps uh, i think just to be a little bit more precise here yes two three days so this high here to this low so we have we have tr we have been in between those 250 percent like a sandwich for like um since 21 20 since 20 september 20th okay and we are now below it so this is a really clear sign of something that is not bullish for me okay so that's why i am i am giving you guys this count here this count is way we have way more uh, information way more data to support it okay so i see this d here this d wave here and probably we won't have any probably b is here is 50 percent we tried two times this 50 percent here and yes it's a bearish sign okay we have been guys again i'm gonna repeat it we have been between those two 50 percent here but now we are below it. This is the six hour chart. So this is not a good sign or um, if it, this goes above it, as I, have, as I have said previously, 
we we have some targets okay above it we have some targets uh we have a lot of algo targets here down below uh, uh, the first one would be this one okay my my little cat did something with my wait a second come here little kitty oh stay with the daddy don't do this oh damn it and she turned off she turned off my monitor oh come on now it's it's coming back okay stay with me little um so i'm sorry for this um so what we have is all those targets down here okay and uh we have of course the, the first target would be this one here we need to challenge this uh this line here that has been formed this triangle that has formed i'm sorry this triangle here and which is the b wave here which i'm calling b wave okay this would be 6100 okay remember that really uh clear target that i have been talking about the 61000 the 6100 i'm sorry that is the 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 uh, really a really uh, in important target this is another chart this is my classic chart that i have been uh, using with you guys now we are 295 days yes so 295 days and the triangle here in this chart is really clear isn't it take a look at this okay take a look at this triangle here it's really clear that something must happen either up or down but i i'm telling you guys it's difficult we have we are within this 1000 range remember the td sequential i have i have to i have presented you guys that we are between the 7000 and the 6000 let's say that okay actually 6150 remember i i have present that it's a really strong support and we have this resistance here and a little below this resistance here which is the 6850 which is a historical resistance and we have the this equation a little above it 7000 7050 okay so two might be in like here and we might just be doing a wxy triangle or not a triangle exactly but a sideways correction and then we would go down we would need more data this is a daily chart okay but when we look at that chart this chart here i see this uh db would be in and we would be kind of uh lingering around this region just to get to d and to give to give the market some resolution that would uh that would take some of this uncertainty away okay once um once someone not someone but uh once you have uh some confirmation some certainty some direction people start pulling the trigger join the the the, the wagon okay it's going down so let's go down and that's what they are waiting for we are waiting for right but this chart here is is showing me a different picture than this one here okay i proposed that we would be in this would have be our one wave then we would have an a b b would be going on and we would have a c going up here okay but the problem is that we don't have data enough to confirm that we have a tri uh, triangle within this wave B here. However, we have data enough to, to say that we have a, a wave B here with a A here and then an A, B, C. We have more data. We have the, the pattern here is more concise and more, um, uh, it, it, it looks like way, way more probable. And that's what we are looking for this is all <laughs> the way that we are now this is this has more uh likelihood of happening than this count here which is this count here is my primary count 
but what how can we make sense of this what what is this this is a, a inverted cup and handle we need to have a okay but this is if this is an inverted cup and handle we are going down so quite difficult to, to say otherwise quite difficult um we have this resistance here I, I draw this line here but let me take this out it's gonna confuse you guys <clears throat> let me take this out so what yes we have a, as i said this we, we have this range we need to get to this point at least six seven thousand six seven hundred pardon me okay and this line here the c if we go down to this level here again six three six four hundred we would definitely invalidate this count here and then we would need to take a look and consider this one okay and it's it, it, it we are gonna need to to be paying attention actually i would be sideways now i, I won't i wouldn't enter a trade now i am out of the market because this kind of thing here it's can break either up or down but i am now because of this chart here because of this pattern because we are between those 50 percent for so long and we couldn't manage we couldn't manage to break it you see try to break it try to break it try to get there with this c failed and what we would happen we, we this 50 percent now we are below it we tried again with this c to break to go above the 50 percent but we failed so next time we probably 50 percent here is going to act as a resistance so it would go down that's what i'm thinking about bitcoin for now okay remember as a uh, overall picture guys we are in a wave two okay i presented i have presented this chart before but this is the overall picture guys okay we have all those this is a bit phoenix this is a one two with three four five i explained this uh chart before i won't go over it again but this would be the overall picture okay we have those targets here are we gonna are we gonna um hit those targets only the only time will tell okay and then we would need to resume this wave three we are in a wave two a deep wave two a triple combo okay considering the amount of time that we spent in this impulse wave it's not a surprise that we are in such a huge in such a, a long correction and i don't think it's gonna end soon of course we are just 295 days in this correction so we have plenty of time so just as a uh a, a rule of uh, uh just as a guideline for you guys if bitcoin breaks this 6150 percent this six sorry 6150 6150 we are going down definitely okay this train line here this blue train line here is gonna be, be we need to break it we need to get out of this triangle first okay let me zoom this thing this is daily okay we need to get out we need to break down this we need to break out of this triangle either up or down i am considering that we are gonna go down definitely now it's difficult to to, to make a case that we are gonna uh, that we are going up i don't know it seems to me that this is a conti continuation pattern and we are gonna continue this trend here so <clears throat> We need to challenge this the remember this uh 6400 first okay to really get uh take uh take out of the table other counts and then we need to challenge this blue line here this trend blue line then it would be 6150 per 6150 okay that's what i see for bitcoin guys if you have a different idea if you have a different count you need to Keep in mind, you need to, to bear in mind that it's the, the, the chart, the, the amount of data, this is the, the weekly chart. But you see a hammer here, a spinning, kind of a hammer again. So again, below all the EMAs and uh, 
a cross here remember I, I called this this cross here some weeks ago or one week ago that we, we might have a cross here guys 21 percent the 21 EMA and the 55 in one or two weeks is gonna cross and then this is gonna mark a really bearish sign it's a bearish cross okay but I am I am putting my money on this specific account here just because of the pattern because of this the, the, the strong support that Fibonacci has to the has offered to the market okay um, guys thanks for watching I think that I have presented more questions than answers but this is what we have right this is how we deal with the market let's pay attention keep keep waiting keep uh, being uh, guys be greedy long time don't be greedy short time okay and if you like my content give me a thumbs up and subscribe please if you haven't followed me on twitter please consider doing so and here we have our discord server with a lot of free information crypto trade crypto trader educational institute join us you have the link in the description okay Thank you very much. Have a wonderful Sunday. And let's see this week. Huh? Starting tomorrow. I think we are I think we're gonna have crazy movements. <laughs> we don't know. I am excited. Bye bye. Cheers.